All right, so the next uh, topic that we have from chapter 2.5 are the product of some formulas. So we're going to go from left to right on this. There are uh, some of the product formulas as well, which we'll do later. But here we convert either the product of, uh, of a sign of two different things into uh, this one half uh, cosine of the first, uh, the first minus the second minus the cosine of the first plus the second. Or if we have two cosines, uh, we get uh, two cosines out as well. So one half cosine of uh, the, the first value minus the second value plus cosine of the first value plus the second value and so forth. If we have sine and cosine, <coughs> we, uh, we have double signs here, but we take the very first value uh, and add them together. Uh, and, and for the other one, we get the first one minus the second one. Uh, if we happen to do the cosine first, if you want to do it that way. Uh, and, and again, th these things will be uh, similar in nature here. But uh, one half sine of u plus v, so the co whatever the cosine was of, or whatever the sine was of, minus the sine of that. So we're going to use these product to some formulas to do a couple problems. All right, so a group of problems uh, numbered 45, 49 to 52 had this instruction, use the product of sum formulas to rewrite the product as a sum or difference. I just created an example first, but then we'll do problem number 49 after I'm done with that. So let's start off with this one. We have a sine of pi by 3 times cosine of pi by 6. If we go look back sine times cosine we're going to have one half uh, the sine of the two values added together plus the sine of the difference of the two with the first minus the second so that shouldn't be too bad so let's go back and let's take care of that okay so we get one half Remember the sine of those two numbers added together. So sine of pi by 3 minus pi by 6. And then we add that to the sine of, excuse me, these are, this isn't minus, this is plus. The next one's minus. All right, so sine of pi by 3 minus pi by 6. <clears throat> All right, so then we need a common denominator for each of these. So we have 1 half sine of 2 pi by 6 plus pi by 6 plus sine of 2 pi by 6 minus pi by 6. So I do that subtraction. And I'm left with sine. Uh, 2 plus 1 is 3. So 3 pi by 6 reduces to pi by 2. And this one, we have 2 pi by 6 minus 1 pi by 6, so that's just pi by 6. And we have fulfilled the question. So we now have it written as a uh, sum or difference in this case. It is a sum. Uh, if you prefer, you can distribute the 1 half through, but I'm not going to do that. So let's scroll down. Let's take care of this next one here. And we have a product of two signs. So let's go back to our formulas. That's not the one I wanted. <clears throat> All right. Product of two signs. We're going to have a cosine of the first minus second minus a cosine of the first plus the second. So 
So this is going to be one half. Cosine of the first minus the second, so that's five theta minus three theta. And minus the cosine of the sum of the other two. So that's five theta plus three theta. All right, so we've only got one more step and there's no fractions here, so it should be rather easy. We're left with one half. Cosine five theta minus three theta is just two theta. And when we add them, it's eight theta. And we're done. And again, uh, please, if you decide to distribute the one half, leave the uh, the one half in front of the cosines. Don't multiply it by the the two theta part. Uh, those are functions. That doesn't work. So if you want to rewrite this, it could be one half cosine of two theta minus one half cosine of eight theta.